I ain't going to lie. Since we on the topic of basketball. Since we on the topic of basketball, man. You know, you know, I finally came to the conclusion. This is Marcus Jordan. This is um, Michael Jordan's son. And I got to be honest. I was watching this video. Okay, this music. I don't want it to, like, fuck up um, anything we got going on. You know what I realized? This is Marcus Jordan, Michael Jordan's son. This is um, Larsa Pippen. Scotty um, Pippen's ex-wife. I think she's near 50. He's like 25. You know what I realized? This, like, I, I was kind of blaming her for a while. And I finally just realized, Marcus Jordan's a fucking loser. You know, she, she, she's going to follow anywhere where the money is. You, you, you can't really have too much high hopes of women. The, the, they sniff around and they find the next bag no matter where it is. Like, you know what I mean? She's she's old as dust. All due respect to her. I met her. She, she's she actually, she looks good for her age, but come on now. Like she's 50. Like, you know what I mean? Come on. Anyway, he got some type of inheritance from Michael Jordan. But I'm going to tell you why I believe this guy's a fucking loser. I'm going to tell you why. I believe he couldn't live up nearly to the pressure of being in Michael Jordan's shoes when it came to being an athlete. So he couldn't add to his legacy. And and, and that's one of the things. I don't know if, you know, I'm a junior, so my father has the same name. Um, my, my One of my sons eventually is going to have my name as well. It's about legacy. I hope I've surpassed my father. I think this nigga realized once he couldn't play a lick of basketball, he realized he was a class A division three bum. He realized that there was no way he could try to outlive or even extend the legacy that his father created. And I think this is why he's resorted to doing some lame shit like this. He's resorted to Dayton his father's ex-teammate's ex-wife. And this is the only way he could make a dent or even make a headline to seemingly be in that storyline construct of what his father has created. Because trust me, he wants, I'm telling you, there's a burning desire that he wants to be, trust me, no son wants to be a fucking loser. No son wants to be a fucking loser. I think the only reason why he's fucking on Larsa Pippen is because it makes it feels like he's furthering the Jordan family name. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not like this thing is like Brawny. Like, you can tell even Brawny and Bryce are going to do some shit. This is the only way he could connect himself to that legacy. And, again, I ain't said he should have been hit. He should have hit Shorty and dipped. But him wifing it, even Jordan, I think, recently came out and said he don't even agree with it. It's like... Look. This is what Jordan said. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Laza Pippen together? You approve of it? No. You don't approve? Do you think he's going to ask her to marry him? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I believe that uh, um, Marcus Jordan, you know, I think he's just doing that loser shit just trying to figure out where he could extend the legacy of, you know, the Jordan brand, the Jordan family. I just think that, brother, you can't do it by fucking a chick who used to be, like, nigga, future fucked her. Like, come on, dog. Like, my nigga. Like, you, you're not you're not over here with some prize, okay? Brother, go figure out where your legacy could lie. And it might not be on the court. It might be in business. But for, for me, it feels like you're, this is only a move to try to be, um, I don't think it was meant to make your father proud, but try to continue the legacy um, 
through the family tree. You get what I mean? I, I imagine, I ain't gonna lie. Imagine having like Donald Trump as a father. Like when I met Donald Trump, I was looking at his sons and I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers have to live up to him. And whether you, whatever, no matter what you think about Donald Trump, former president, one of the richest motherfuckers that's, that was out here. And these, and, and a very slick talker, Someone who have uh, um, you know could be considered as a leader of men, this and third. His sons got to live up to that nigga. You get what I mean? And I'm, I, I watch, I watch like you know, I was watching the family dynamic, and even like his son um, Don, like I could see like he had like that burning desire of like he wants to impress his father, like he wants to you know, um, like do more shit, which. I, I just think it's normal. I think people want to impress your, impress either your father or your parents, or you want to continue whatever legacy they, they had. So I look at this, this Marcus Jordan nigga, and I'm like, this nigga's lame, man. You supposed to hit that and get, get over with it, nigga. You over here wife and thinking like this is the one. All right. Cool. Hey, chat. Um, somebody says, are we talking about one is third week versus thug second? Nah, we not feeling Nah, we not allowed to. Uh -uh. All right, let me see. This Britney Spears and like Wemben Wire thing. I don't even know how to say that nigga name. How, do, how is it? Britney. Okay, 